All right, don't worry about the Knicks, because it's your boy, Chris with the Knicks. All right, so I just want to talk about the whole um, Kamaya situation and the Fix My Life with Ayana Vincent. All right, so uh, let's backtrack. Uh, all right, so for those who do not know, about the Kamaya situation. Kamaya was a a girl. Kamaya was a girl that was abducted by um the kidnapper who um name I can't remember. She was only a couple of months old. She was abducted from Shania, who was 15 um, in 1998. And her father uh, went to jail because he was 19 and uh, got a 15-year-old pregnant. So he did some time for that. And what had happened was the woman had a miscarriage. So what she did is um, she came dressed as a nurse and with a wig and some glasses and she was um being cool with Shania and then walked out the hospital with the baby because they thought that there was a family member and she wasn't and so what had happened and so what happened was uh, a couple of years later um last year Shania turned I believe 19 and she was getting a job, and she needed her um, her uh, birth certificate. And so what had happened was she needed her birth certificate, and the mama was like, well, I can't show you that. And she was like, no, nah, for real, I need my birth certificate. And so she let the cat out the bag, and now we're here. So uh, Shania's birth mother... I mean, Kamaya's birth mother, Shania, I think is now 32. She signed her up to go to Ayana Vincent's Fix My Life. But the cold part about it, the cold part about it was that she didn't show up. So Kamaya felt like, then why should I show up? But she showed up anyways, and along with her boyfriend, her stepmother, and her biological father. And so, you could tell by the interview, when she started rubbing that couch, everything was about to go south. But, you know, she kept her composure. She was just thinking about, you know, the situation. You know, she's saying that, she, you know, you could tell she's still taking up for the, the mother that kidnapped her. You know, don't call her stupid, you know. She still had that motherly instinct. I mean, that darkly instinct. And even though, because um, Kamaya said that she had an inkling that she, that wasn't her real mother, but she never really uh, asked her because, you know, she was super nice. You know, just being a mother. So, of course, she wasn't going to ask. But then <clears throat> the cat came out the bag. Even in the interview, she said, yes, yeah, she should go to jail, but don't let, throw away the key. And Kamaya's mother, her biological mother, I guess, I don't, like, Ayana Vincent says she probably still feels like that 15-year-old girl that lost the baby. Because now it's all awkward, and sometimes she blocks her own daughter on Facebook because she posts this picture of the other one. But... Yet and still, she doesn't make efforts to meet up with her, which Kamaya says is nothing new. So I feel like the mother was dead ass wrong for not showing up because <clears throat> I feel like that Ayana Van Zant, um, I feel like her fix my life could have went a little bit better had she been right there. So we can know like how she felt. And. I do feel like Kamaya should have kept her composure. I do. <clears throat> because, like, Ayana had a um, meeting with her 
producers to discuss that. And one of the producers was basically saying that she probably was watching reality TV and see people get rewarded for rewarded for acting out. <clears throat> but Kamaya, the difference between her, basically, you saying she probably was trying to act like the cash me outside girl or somebody off Maury, but the thing about the cash me outside girl that she white. She can capitalize off acting ratchet, act like a little ratchet black girl, get her a uh, record deal and all that. And Kamaya would just be seen as angry black woman. I feel like Ayana was trying to uh, suppress that. You know, I really feel like Ayana was trying to uh, um, suppress that. But she told me, I'm slap this old bitch. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I slap bigger bitches than that. And they got this man looking bitch, then this other bitch. I'll stab the fuck out of her. You know, I really wish she would have embarrassed herself like that. You know, she should have just, um, because what Ayana was trying to do is have her really think. So, you know, you can't call your father or your brother, I mean, your boyfriend. And then Kamaya just passed out. <clears throat> But I do really uh, want to see how this will turn out. Uh, who knows? She might apologize to um, Ayana. And then the father. You could tell everybody that was there couldn't really do nothing with her. They said they'd never seen her spaz out like that before. But I feel like it's a, that's a lie. Because, first of all, the stepmother, she probably was like, uh-uh, don't put me in that shit. She ain't about to have three mothers. I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Leave me out of it. Which I don't blame her. And then the father and the boyfriend. It's probably those two dudes. It's like, well, let, just let her have her way. I'm, I'm not fit to say nothing. Just let her have her way. You know, so like, she just can get her way. And the daddy, you know, you could tell, you know, he's just one of those hood niggas that, you know, run the streets. So when it comes to emotions, he don't deal with that type of thing. Because you could tell, like, he wanted to work with Ayana, but then at the same time, it's like, you ain't fit to have me crying on TV. And then, you know, I can't really do nothing with with her, so I'm going to just let her talk and have her way. But Ayana, she handles that well because most people, um, Kamaya would have been faded. She would have been laid out on the ground. And Ayana, I could tell, she said the words didn't hurt her. You could tell that. Because if you read Ayana's books, you could tell, you, you know she she has been raped. She has been um, abused. She has, um, her birth mother died when she was two, so she had to be raised by her stepmother, and nobody told her, like she told Kamaya. So uh, a lot of people want to like dog out. Ayana saying that she crazy and she don't know what she's talking about. That woman knows everything she's talking about and she does, she wants people, when she tries to fix people, she wants people to be elevated from their problems and not let their problems succumb them. Because a lot of people, their problems, they don't get over them and it usually affects them in their work life, um, achieving their dreams. Whatever, you know, <clears throat> whatever they want to be, it usually affects them. And so, Ayana, you know, she's using her career, her platform, her life stories to help. And I wish Kamaya would kind of see, you know, what she was trying to do. Rather than, you know, just exploding like that and thinking she's going to get a record deal or something. And so, what's your comments? Comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. Till then, this is me, your boy Chris, at the next. Peace.